Have you thought about buying the any? Have you been considering the AnyCubic Cobra 2 Max? <laughs> hey there, 3D printed fam. It's been an exciting month with the AnyCubic Cobra 2 Max, and today, I'm thrilled to bring you a one month review of this incredible 3D printer. Let's dive into what makes the AnyCubic Cobra 2 Max a standout 3D printer after a month of rigorous testing. First, its enormous build plate measures 420 by 420 by 500 millimeters, allowing you to tackle large scale prints with ease. The printer boosts an impressive speed of up to 500 millimeters a second, making it one of the fastest desktop printers out there. And with a double gear direct drive extruder, you can expect lightning fast printing with the potential to churn out up to 88.2 liters of prints in record time. AnyCubic's LeviQ 2.0 brings a game-changing feature to the table with its 49-point auto-leveling system. I've had a chance to see how it simplifies initial setup and ensures your prints start out on the right foot. Now after a month of using this printer extensively, let's talk about some of the cons I've encountered. First, it can experience the occasional small bug or glitch, which, while not a deal breaker, might require some troubleshooting. The filament detector is known to be a bit oversensitive, so it might pause your prints more often than you'd like. Lastly, the printer's substantial size means you need a large, stable space to accommodate it. But don't worry, during this month of testing, I've also come up with a solution for that. I've designed some anti-vibration feet that can help improve the printer's stability. You can find the download in the video description below. So after a month of testing, the AnyCubic Cobra 2 Max has proven itself to be a powerful 3D printer that can handle massive prints at incredible speeds. It's not without its quirks, but with the right adjustments, it can be a fantastic addition to your 3D printing arsenal. If you're interested in learning more about this printer or want to see my future updates, make sure you subscribe and check out the links in the video description for additional resources. Thank you guys for watching.